All right, y'all, this is according to the shame room. Girlfriend's creator, Mar Brock Akil, recently shot down with Vulture, where she revealed that she'd love to create a film adaption of her beloved series. She even has a script ready. However, she's been having a tough time trying to convince a studio to give her a shot, and she's over it. Akil simply believes that she shouldn't have to beg someone to see the value in girlfriends. Yeah, you can tell any city on town, if they got 50 to $60 million, I already have the script. We can make an epic movie. We can make a lot of money. But be hustling and knocking on doors, begging to do this story anymore, Akil explained. She continued, it deserves somebody to see the value in it and write that check. That's what it's about. People often think I have the power. Well, I have a lot of creative input. I know the vision of it, but I need the money. That's what this industry is all about, supporting artists and supporting storytellers and hearing the audience for what they want and need. There is still a lack of value for what black women want, yet we have proven to be one of the strongest consumers in the marketplace. Yet we still are undervalued about what we want and need. So, yeah, I have a script. It'll be great, but I can't keep worrying about that and hustling that because I wouldn't have – uh, come up with Nuri and Yasir. I wouldn't have helped launch, uh, launch Black Lightning. I have a lot more stories than me. See, the value of girlfriends, I can't do it anymore. Uh, we should just start a crowdfund at this point because Black Sisterhood needs to be displayed. Girls should got a chance so we can have so we can get an amen for girlfriends. But yeah, what do you think, Miss Angel Vandrina? Why do you think she's struggling think- to get? white studios to see the value of the iconic the infamous girlfriends. Oh my God. I feel like she's struggling just like, you know, people they struggle to to get money, you know, as far as like venture capital go. Um, you know, there are two percent of black people out of eighty four two percent of black women that get money from you know knocking on doors and you know consistently trying to get that help when 84 billion dollars go out the door to you know lots of white men every year people they don't care they don't want to see it and you have to really try and prove your worth you know and i'm not sure have you uh listened to the nod recently jen i have it this is kind of like the same situation. You have to go ahead and yeah, uh, people they're not going to see their they're not going to see the work. They're not going to just sit up there and write a check, especially because you're a black woman. You have to go ahead and try to convince them and try and make them see what is going on. And if you just give up, then should they don't give a damn about you giving up? They just okay, you know. And um, it just kind of reminded me of um, the one. It was a woman. She was a she's a gay black woman, and she up on the airport floor for after for four for four months after sending out hundreds and hundreds of cold emails, you know, telling people her vision and trying to uh, you know, get people get people who give away these this money every year, you know, to invest in her company. Um, ultimately she scraped up over five million dollars to go ahead and, and get what she wanted, but it took a lot of knocking at doors and telling people, hey, you know, this is what my vision is, and it took lots and lots of years, you know what I'm saying, for her to actually be so dedicated. So sometimes you have to be extremely dedicated, especially when you knocking on doors and asking other people for their money, you know what I'm saying. But once again, they have to understand that. So see, you have to have this uh, proposal laid out. You know, yeah, you have the script, but you have to have a proposal. This is what you're going to get. This is what you can make. You know, all of this shit is potential, so you can't just go and be like, look, bitch, this shit is worth it, you're going to give me the money, or you can lose out on all this money, because they don't care, they, they're they like, well, shit, I don't really know, because at the end of the day, it's like, are we really going to make a profit on this, or not, so, and it sucks, because if she was a white man, they'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, here, here you go, the money, but because she's a black woman, she has to prove herself more, and that's just how it is, people are racist in that way, you know, but um, I feel like she shouldn't have given up, she should keep going, and she should keep knocking on doors until somebody give her an opportunity. I agree. I definitely really? feel like the the girlfriend story is a story that hasn't been told, and you know that's something mm-hmm. that we are to continue to long for and yearn for. Yeah. And one day, Mara Brock is like she's going to get that check. 
and we're going to go and support in the all those studios that passed up on giving the corn part they're going to see. You know, that this is something that we want to that we want to continue to promote and something that we are going to come out and see. Like it, it annoys me that like you said, black women are the biggest consumers. You know, black people that continue mm-hmm. to buy and support things that matter to them, but the people that are the gatekeepers, um, so to speak, the people that do have the finances to go ahead and, and um succeed from that from knowing that they don't want to do anything towards it. So it's just like once that once the opportunity comes, maybe Oprah needs to go ahead and and, and score it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. I also have something else to say in this regard. Um, I feel like when it comes down to this, too, um, you know, what she should also – a lot of people, what they're thinking is, oh, who want to see – you know, and they, they, they're forgetting, you know, how much we provided for Black Panther, what we went to go do and what we – you know what I'm saying, how much Black Panther they made. Black movies are winning, okay? And we're going to go see them. But what they want is for – you know, black people to come out with scripts of super. They're thinking the only movies like Wakanda, uh, you know, Black Panther, they can make money like that. Like, no, we're very diverse. We love all kinds of black movies. So maybe that's also their issue. Like, who wants to go and see the movie about a movie about or a spinoff about girlfriends? You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfucker, we do. I do. You know, I so do. that's another thing, right? But uh, yeah, y'all, we gonna go. 